video. Thought this would be a little interesting for folks. So I am replacing, there I go with the sew again. We'll fix it one day. This is my Dana 44 center or slash spicer unit that I will be putting in the Cobra. As you can see, he's powder coated. I did find out something interesting. Brake clean will remove powder coat. Warning, warning. I was cleaning the pumpkin out. I let that stuff come out, the brake clean run out the back of it. And what's this black puddle for? Well, that's there because you're melting your nice powder coat off, which is not awesome, but fine. It'll be underneath the car. I'm just trying to make it look better. So back to the original topic. Here's the original open diff. And yes, the spider's been pulled out. Remember, we used it on to make a contraption. And as you can see, you can see that the posi, the Auburn posi unit, is much, much wider and has a lot more material close to the bearing and the race. That caused a problem. So anybody else that's doing a Auburn posi swap into a XJ6 rear end, or Dana 44 pumpkin, you should be able to see here, I had to remove a quite a bit of material. Let's see from the top. Now it's fairly flat now, but on the side furthest away from you, it's, it came out quite a bit. It was really proud on that side, just the way it was casted and, melt and machined. And it was okay with that small open diff. was not okay with Auburn Posi. It caught all up on there. When I first dropped the uh, diff in, it wouldn't go, but there was still slack in the bearings. It took me a bit to figure out what happened. This side's fine because there's not as much material on the differential. This side, I had to remove that. I used just a, a Dremel with an end mill. Um, a carbide burr and an actual die grinder would have gone a lot faster. I'm not terribly upset about this. It did take a bunch of times to put it in, take it out, put it in, take it out. Eventually, I got the, I was marking the high spots by t uh, dragging a sharpie on the edge of the differential, spin it, and I could hear it hitting. When I pull it out, old sharpie would be left on the metal here. I could see where my high spots were, and you know, as expected, they kept moving around. As I removed material, it'd be a new high spot. Maybe 15 iterations of that. It took quite a while, maybe an hour, hour and a half out here with the grinder and ear protection and eye protection and a headlamp and all that good stuff, but just be aware if you're doing this rear end, sw the differential swap on this particular pumpkin off of the XJ6, it was the same series from, oh my goodness, the late 60s all the way up until 87 or so, uh, the Series 3. So that's all, just a Quick FYI, if you're having to do this same sort of work, if you're doing an ERA Cobra or doing, yeah, actually working on an XJ6 and you want to swap into a Posi unit, that's something you're going to run into. Thanks.